Because it's covered in snow. I don't think the grill is safe to use because there's an ice dam looming up mm. on the on the rooftop above. Last winter, this ice dam fell on our grill and did, mass, did, it. did massive damage to it. My guess is that the ice dam weighed at least 70 pounds. The ice dams were really bad in the Twin Cities last year. Like A lot of people had really bad damage from ice yep. dams. I don't really want a 70 pound hunk of ice falling on me while I'm grilling. Huh? This doesn't seem good. No. On my list of things to do, that would be low. I mean, I would prefer that not happening, considering that we have a child on the way. Well, I would... I would survive. I would... I would overpower the ice dam, but the... It's more just the pain that it would probably inflict. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could get killed by an icicle. I'm just... Just saying, like... Is it worth it in a in a pro con, you know, missionological <laughs> okay. way? The answer is no. The answer is no. <laughs> Did it Did become it? a chill grill? Yes. It. The ice made a dent. Significant. Like section of the grill is just like caved in. Move the grill. Well, mm. the problem with what happened last time I was it got snowed. it got snowed on so it's basically frozen in place. So even if I had wanted to move it, I would have had to drag it like out of a pile of snow. There's also no other good, not a lot of good places on the deck to put it really. That's true. I could have moved it in time for this year except that I just took no action at all. Mm. <laughs> move, move the house. <laughs> yeah. well, that seems like that would make a lot more sense. <laughs> now we're talking. You see, I had this 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 thing that happened between last year's winter and this year's winter called being human, which means I'm dumb, which means I didn't do anything about it. Bruce <laughs> Rodas, shout it down. Largest Willem says, agreed, move the house, problem solved. <laughs> Alright, look at you, look at you go, Tim. Well done, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Such a good sous chef. Maybe that should be our daughter's name. Do you want to tell them some of the more no. out there names? No. <laughs> no. They're only for you, Nicole. <laughs> Besides, we're gonna name our totally naming our one of those out there names. We just haven't yet. Okay, so after we've named the child, yet. the child, we will share the. So we we will need to share some of Tim's like list of contenders. People will be thoroughly amused. Will they or will they be impressed? Concerned. With a lot of eyebrows raised and. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, but that's interesting. That's different. Yeah. We're like, I mean, I can see where he was going. I can, I can... Sports says, being human, so you lived in Detroit. <laughs> that was a good game. That was last year, though. That was 2018, right? Detroit Become Human was a very good game. game. It was an impressive, impressive undertaking in terms of story paths. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Nice. Right. Just gonna get this one formed. Well, actually, no, actually, I'll wait a second. I'll finish up this, then we still have two more crusts to do. That's still in the oven. Um, you probably didn't need to do this yet, because you will need to chop up the leeks if you want, after you rinse them. Well, I didn't do too much, I just moved it over here. Oh, that's fine. Oh, get back on. Hey, you can do it, no, no, you don't, you can do whatever you want to do. You can yeah, have a little break and hang out with Jack. You enjoy yourself, you treat yourself, honey. It's the holidays.
as a Christmas present for me. And it ended in failure. Well, it's more just a... They closed? They were closed. Oh, but, but you also went to the wrong place. Also, no, I, I went to a place. I don't know that it was the wrong place. Well, it was wrong in that they weren't open. Therefore, it was the wrong choice. However, yeah, it's more just like a nice addendum to other thoughtful things. And your plans were foiled! Foiled! Because you should have gone to the other place. Oh, Smith is. Can confirm no one wants to be the 16th Andrew Smith in their city. <laughs> See? Like, Tim's last name is Spencer. I mean, our last name is Spencer. It's kind of common. You gotta think about branding, marketing. You gotta have a unique name. You know? Duquesne is such a good last name. But thus, we need to make the first name a little bit more unique. Slightly. <laughs> Problem is, our. See, we had the male name that would be have been very, like, pretty unique and good and it would have had good nicknames. Because that's the thing. You have to think of, like, the full name, and then what are the nicknames? Well, that's been the most important thing for the whole process, because I yeah. I love and nicknames. I come up with a billion names for our cats. I love coming up with nicknames. Yeah. And We also don't want, like, bad nicknames that other people will come up with, but you right. don't want people to come up with, but then they will inevitably use. Like, like Pooh Head. You don't want them to have that be their nickname. Kaka <laughs> doo doo. Well, that's also why their middle Ooh, name is I... going to be Duquesne. So if it. Maybe Duquesne Spencer. If it somehow rhymed with that, or, you know, like. It it's just a letter seriously. off of that. It could have been. It could be really bad. So you gotta think about these things. It's important. Mm -hmm. Leaks. Those could probably be. Maybe a. Well, I guess it's fine. We, we will 